All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Doug Chapman. I'm a regional extension agent with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. I'm on the commercial horticulture team, and we're here in Chilton County this morning. We're going to be doing some con grafting. What we're going to be doing this morning is the inlay bark graft. And the reason we're doing the inlay bark graft is because these trees are a variety that are not quite as desirable as some of the other varieties we have available. So we're going to be doing some top working. Uh, that, that's just a technical term for putting a new top on the tree with a different variety that's better suited to our growing conditions here. And uh, you need several things when you're doing this. You need a good saw. And uh, that's a good sharp saw right there. You need a good sharp knife, and that's just uh, just an old pocket knife that I used uh, uh, for years. And the reason I use this is because I can sharpen it. And you have to have a sharp knife to do this. I can shave with this knife because uh, of how sharp it is. And we're we're going to uh, use that knife. We're also going to use some graft wood that we cut back in the winter uh, and stored in the refrigerator. I cut that graft wood back in late January and I've had it in the refrigerator. I stored it in some moist cedar shavings. I just soaked those for a day or two, drained all the water out and that's what I use to keep these, uh, these this graft wood uh, good and fresh. You're also going to need some aluminum foil and some duct tape. Now let's go do some grafting. Okay. Here's our next tree that we're going to graft. We've actually got three potential limbs that we could use to do this top work graft, the, the inlay graft. Uh, what I'm probably going to do, since this is a very weak crotch angle, uh, I'm going to show you a shot of that. I'm probably going to cut this limb completely out. And we're going to use this limb here to do the inlay graft. Now, uh, let's, let's show them this weak crotch angle here. There's a bark inclusion in here. The, the, the angle is very narrow. This is a weak fork. This will eventually break out anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole limb here out start cutting this limb the first cut you want to make is an undercut and the reason you want to do that is so when we make our cut on the other side that it doesn't strip the bark down all the way on 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 this trunk the bark is slipping on these trees and the bark does have to slip when you do this graph Okay, and that's going to heal up, and uh, we're going to cut this one now, probably about right here. And here again, you want to make a cut on the back side first. And now we can line this up and make a good straight cut here. Next thing, we want to pick a good piece of graft wood, not too big, but not too small. And that's about the right size for this limb that we're going to graft. The reason you have to have a sharp knife is because your cuts have to be straight. See 
how straight that cut is. Then you make another cut on the other side. That's what your sign looks like, or what it should look like when you get ready to do this inlay graft. So, trees aren't round, and you want to pick a flat spot if you've got one. Put your the long side up next to the bark. Make a cut down through the bark all the way through to the wood on that side without moving the sign. Reach around and grab it on this side and cut down through the bark on that side. Now since the bark is slipping we can peel that right off and that sign fits in just like that. Now we're going to do another one. Again, see how straight that cut is. Alright, here's another good flat spot. We're going to graft on this side. Without moving the sign, reach around and grab it. Down on that side. Now that bark just peeled back just beautifully. Now I'm not quite ready to set these grafts yet. We're going to do something else first. We're going to get our duct tape. And we're going to go around and wrap this as tight as we can with duct tape. around two or three times if you need to just to get it tight. Now I, I tied that pretty tight but it's still not tight enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drive those signs down in and tighten it up a little, little more. You see that I did leave a little of the cut surface above the, the rootstock. Now our next step is to get a piece of aluminum foil and you want to go down and cover all of the cut surfaces with aluminum foil. Now what the aluminum foil does, it reflects the sunlight, it keeps this all these cut surfaces a little cooler. Alright, we're not quite through yet. You also are going to need some plastic bags. These are just ordinary bread wrappers. And uh, you can save those or go to the bakery and buy some. But then you want to come down and make a little cut and so you can pull the bag down over each of those signs. Now, we're getting toward the end. These are just ordinary rubber bands. You want to make sure that you put a rubber band around this bag and around the sign. What you're doing is you're cutting off any air that could get to those grafts. And then, last but not least, we're going to seal the bottom of all this just like that. Now, we're through with the graft, but we're not through managing the graft. If I did my job right in about three weeks, maybe less, these signs are going to begin to start growing. 
notice I left a limb on the tree here. This limb is to feed this rootstock while these grafts are healing and taking. Once these grafts begin to grow, if they're not growing fast enough, I might remove a limb here or maybe this limb and they'll speed up growing a little more. Eventually we're going to take this limb completely off. Another thing to keep in mind on this graft is that you're going to need to stake them. You're going to stake it just like you would a tomato plant. So we're going to get a, a tomato stake or maybe even a T-post or a, a electric fence stake or something and we're going to tie that to the trunk of the tree and it's going to be up above these grafts and we're going to use that as a stake to tie the new growth off so these don't blow out. And uh, hopefully in a few weeks we'll see what happens.